Hi friends. I hope that you guys had a fabulous weekend and it is writing time. And last week during writing, we learned that details in our writing really do matter. Um, our stories do a better job explaining how to once we add details in them, like instead of uh, just saying get the peanut butter, put it on the bread, you might add the detail, open the peanut butter jar and put a spoon in it and spread the peanut butter on the bread. Uh, precise wording is what we talked about that tells us exactly what we need to be doing. And I have still been working on my how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I'm going to go through it today again with you because it's always important as writers to always start off by rereading what you have. Step one, get two pieces of bread the jar of peanut butter, the jar of jelly, and a spoon. Step two, get a spoonful of peanut butter and spread it on one piece of bread. Get a spoonful of jelly and spread it on the other piece of bread. Put the bread with peanut butter on top of the bread with jelly. Step four, eat the sandwich. So friends, today I wanna to teach you that one way that writers add details to informational stories or to our how-to stories is by adding um, detailed pictures are our diagrams. That's what we call these right now. Writers often help readers understand their how-to stories by making detailed diagrams and by labeling the diagrams using the most precise, specific words that they can. Um, diagrams are much more detailed than regular pictures. And they show all the parts very clearly and use labels with specific words. So the goal that we're going to do for today is to make sure our diagrams are using the most precise words we can think of, words that really help our readers understand what to do and how to do it. Now, I'm going to bring something else out besides my story, but it goes with my story. I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I thought it would be fun. Um, to work together as a team to label this peanut butter and jelly sandwich that's already made um, with more detailed, precise words for our story. Um, I thought you guys could help me. What is something that I need to label on this peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Bread, yes. But you know, there's all kinds of different bread out there. What kind of bread would you use for your sandwich? Well, when I'm making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I like to eat a little healthier sometimes when it's just me. And I like to use wheat bread. So for my diagram, instead of just writing bread, I need to write wheat bread. And I'm going to write it over here. I'm going to draw an arrow to it and an arrow to this one because they're the same. And wheat. Let me see that. W E T. Wheat. Hmm. <laughs> That doesn't look right. I wonder if the W is a WH, those diagraphs we've been learning. Let me see if that looks better. Sometimes I have to see what it looks like. That looks better. Wheat bread. Okay. Oh, yes. We have to have peanut butter for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And that's what this is right here. That's my peanut butter. P 
peanut butter. Oh, you guys are right. There's different kinds of peanut butter. There's organic peanut butter. There's smooth peanut butter. There's chunky peanut butter. I've had all three of them, but my favorite is that smooth Jiffy peanut butter. Jiffy smooth peanut. Maybe that's what I need to write. Jiffy smooth peanut butter. J -j Jiff. Jiffy smooth peanut butter because that's the kind I use. Okay. What else should I label on here? Am I oh, the jelly. This right here is my jelly. You guys are right. There's a lot of jelly out there. There's strawberry jelly, grape jelly, raspberry jelly, apricot jelly, cranberry jelly. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. But you know what jelly I like to use the best? I love apricot jelly. No, no, that's not right. Peach, peach jelly. That's what it is. I love peach jelly. Peach, peach. So I'm going to write that peach. Peach, ch, ch, ch. ch. We've talked about that. Peach jelly. So I didn't just say bread or jelly or peanut butter. I added more words. Um, to my diagram to make sure it's detailed more to tell you exactly what I was using. But you know, I could also label this because this part of the bread, you know what that part of the bread around the outer edge, a lot of you during lunchtime don't like to eat it. You eat around it. But I like to keep that on my sandwich. Do you guys remember what that's called? Yes, it's the crust. Crust. That has two blends in it. A CR and an ST, doesn't it? Well, I think that looks a lot better. I'm going to have to include that in my story. I am so thankful I have you friends out there to help me. So remember, the goal for today, friends, is to make sure your diagrams are the pictures in your story are using the most precise, specific words that they can. Words that really help the reader understand what they need to be doing and how they need to be doing or what they need to be using. Like mine, they need to be using the Jiffy Smooth peanut butter, the peach jelly, and wheat bread. So look through your pictures today and see what you can do to add to them to help your reader understand your how-to story better. I wish all my friends well. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to upload your work today or save it and bring it back with you when you come to in-person class. And I wish all of my friends well.